In a game that continues to offer very little, any sort of content drop is usually covered quite extensively, and that's why it took a bit of time to push this video out. Now, of course, I'm going to be focusing on the Breda M1935 PG, a burst fire assault rifle that has joined the game during week 12, cloaks, daggers, and muddy boots. You've probably unlocked it already, and maybe you've been using it, in which case I'll be interested to see what you say down in the comments below. It's a bit of a beast, but for once we now have a burst fire weapon that also requires a bit of thought to get the best specialisations and turn it into the absolute powerhouse it can be. Without the specialisations, it might not be that great, and it certainly is a weapon that excels at certain things, but is really no good at others. So it's down to you working out how to use it, altering your playstyle accordingly, and then dominating the enemy. The Breda PG was an Italian magazine-fed automatic rifle that was originally developed as a semi-automatic self-loading rifle for the Italian army. It was rejected from domestic service, however it did achieve sales to Costa Rica in 1935, and has arrived at a time of the year where we actually have the Costa Rican Independence Day, which is the 15th of September. The Costa Rican model of the weapon featured a unique select fire system, including semi-auto and four-round bursts, making it one of the first rifles to incorporate a burst fire mode, and only a few hundred were ever made, so it's quite a rare weapon. As I just mentioned, the weapon does offer either a four-round burst or semi-automatic mode, which places it in a unique category of assault rifles in the assault class, and in all honesty, it's nice to have something a bit different in the game. A 20-round magazine will provide plenty of ammunition, even in full burst fire mode, and with a four-round burst killing an enemy at close range, you can rack up some major kills without breaking a sweat. The only thing that holds this weapon back on first impressions is being able to control the burst and knowing when to tap fire, time your bursts and set up the specialisations correctly. It is a bit of a challenge, but nothing you can't get on top of in just a few rounds. A quick point though, you need to upgrade it. Specialisations make the weapon so much better, so don't write it off as soon as you unlock it and use it and work out that it might not be that great. You do need those specialisations to really improve the weapon, and you need to get used to the fact it's a burst fire weapon, so it requires a little bit of a different approach to a fully automatic assault rifle. Now in this video I'm going to give you an overview of the most recent addition to Battlefield 5, the Breda M1935 PG, and go through the best specialisations and some tips and tricks to make the weapon work for you. As you can tell from the background, the gameplay does focus on some of the more exciting stuff you can come up with with this weapon. It is a bit of a beast, and it will really show that in certain situations. You can blast enemies away before they even get to shoot back at you. Starting off with the rank 1 specialisations, you are offered enhanced grips and quick aim. Now you can only pick one of them of course, I prefer to go for the aiming down your weapon sights faster with quick aim, however enhanced grips does enable you to gain decreased hip fire spread by 25% and weapon range by 33%, meaning if you are the sort of person to hip fire, and this is something you want the weapon to do, then going for enhanced grips might be better for you. Again, rank one, pick what you like, and then you can go down and you're forced to pick rank two and three on either side. Now, rank two offers lightened stock or ported barrel. Lightened stock allows the weapon to move 60% faster whilst aiming down sights, and ported barrel gives you less horizontal recoil. Now, both are good, but really, the main thing to take from this is the rank 3 specialisation, as this is the real difference between the two skill trees. Firstly, you have Light Bolt, which decreases the time between shots in a burst. On the other hand, you could have Trigger Job, which decreases the time between bursts. Now, for me, the best one by quite some distance is Light Bolt, where you decrease the time between shots in a burst, and we'll get into that in a little while. The other one is okay, it might be more up your street, but if you're wanting more of a fully automatic rifle, which is what you're doing with Trigger Job, there are better options out there. With rank 4, you have the option between custom stock or barrel bedding. Custom stock improves the accuracy in aimed fire whilst moving, and barrel bedding improves the accuracy in aimed fire whilst stationary. 
I think whilst moving is maybe a little better because I tend to strafe around loads, but it's up to you, whatever you prefer. Now onto that stuff with the light bolt and then trigger job. If you choose light bolt, you will get more concentrated fire in individual bursts, leading to a faster time to kill and improving your chances against enemies assuming you can aim. There is no point choosing this option if you plan on missing your rounds and can't control the burst. A four shot kill is really strong with this weapon and then having light bolt, which makes that burst shorter, is obviously going to be better for you. If you're missing bullets though and you can't track people or control the burst, maybe it's more difficult to control on console, it won't really be very beneficial or that much of an improvement. Trigger job, on the other hand, only decreases the time between the bursts as opposed to the time between shots in the burst itself. Trigger job will reduce the delay between the bursts, meaning a faster follow-up is possible. So if you are the sort of person to miss shots, then maybe having that would be better because it turns the weapon into more of an automatic weapon. Then again, why pick the Breda? Why not go for an STG with the three times or the Stormgiver with the three times instead? To be honest, the same people that think this weapon is trash are the same people that probably have limited luck with other single fire assault rifles that are at their best with a three times scope, patient aim and good positioning. Not everything in the game is a run and gun Tommy gun, neither is it an MMG. You have to pick and choose what to shoot with this weapon and try to understand the flows of the map in order to control your engagement distances and get into the right areas. Good situational awareness is key with a weapon like this as you'll lose a 1v1 within 5 meters against a shotgun and potentially lose against a sniper at longer ranges. The mid-range areas are where this thing excels and shooting enemies that might not have the time to shoot back or that you can blast as they track across your screen really quickly. As I said, I think Light Bolt is the better option, but it depends what you prefer. I'd be interested to see what you think down below in the comments. I like a 3 times scope on this weapon as well, so that really does work for me quite well once you can control the bursts. A 700 millisecond bullet velocity is nice with this weapon. Bursts do feel like they're hitting almost in a laser fashion, you know, you're smashing somebody with 4 bullets before you even know the first one's hit. And if they're standing still, well, all bullets will hit and you'll insta-kill them. The three times, as I said, is my preferred scope, but it might work with the one times if you're fairly accurate and you can spot enemies in the distance. The biggest drawback is probably the hip fire for most people, unless you do choose to go for the hip fire specialization. It really does depend what you plan on doing with this weapon. Now with grind gone, it's not ideal. Grind for me is the best mode for trying out what a weapon is good and bad at because you're in the action straight away. Maybe Grand Ops is more up your street, again this would be a good weapon for that. I really do feel though like it's a really versatile weapon despite being limited to burst firing and obviously you can tap fire too. In the background here I've got a bit of information regarding the patterns of the bursts and you can see the specializations that I've picked before doing it. Really there's not much to gain from this just by watching the video, you have to get onto the game itself and work out what feels best for you. Shooting at a wall is, well, exactly that. You're not shooting at moving targets and you're not in the heat of battle, so there's not all that stuff going on around you. It's good to know, but it's really not gonna be the same thing. What I would say though is that the light bolt is better. It feels better, it feels crisper and smoother having the control between the bursts. Even though you do have that delay, you're firing bullets much faster and with that high bullet velocity, you're really going to be blasting people before they can even turn to shoot back. Yes, the trigger job will give the weapon a higher RPM at around 540, but 464 RPM for the light bolt is enough for a weapon like this. Also, a 20 round mag. You've got to realise that 20 rounds isn't a huge amount, but it's plenty if you've got a four shot kill. You can get five kills with one magazine, assuming you don't even get collaterals and you hit all your bullets. That's really quite impressive. So let me know what you think of the Breda down in the comments below. I think it is a very good assault rifle. Is it top tier? I'm yet to decide really. There are a lot of good weapons in the assault class, but it's something different and something that I really enjoy using. It feels crisp, it feels new, and maybe it can be a weapon that you have a lot of luck with, especially if you're looking to pull off top plays for the Top Plays Show. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave your comments down below, and I'll catch you in the next video.